Hey, what's up, everyone? Today we are using Lava Loon in Mid Ladder, baby. You know how it is. We're using the Barbarians this time because I see all of you all complain. All y'all is better. I'm sorry. We use contractions in this channel. I see y'all complain. All y'all complaining about, oh, I don't have no champions. I don't. No, 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 no. So we're using the Barbarians. Okay, okay. But don't ask me, oh, if I don't have Mighty Miner, what do I use? Oh, if I don't have Barbarians, what do I use? You have to use one of the two, okay, man. If you want to use the Valk, you can you can try and use the Valk, but I I mean go go ahead and try. I don't think it's gonna work, but just use the Barbs or the Mighty Miner or level one of them up or I don't know, man. The Valk is your next best option. But anyways, um, we're sacking this tower. We're gonna probably use the Phoenix afterwards. Hold on, I think he's running three Musketeers. So let's see. Um, gonna go balloon here because like I feel like why didn't you go three musketeers if you're playing three musketeers why haven't you gone three musket oh there they are there they are okay we'll get them we'll get them oh I think that's a bit late mm, okay but we hit the pump too so that was a good value I forgot to say if you guys enjoy the video please hit the like button subscribe leave a comment to help grow this channel uh we hit 6500 subs and I want to thank you so much because you guys are freaking awesome thank you uh, but yeah, anyways, we should be getting close to taking this tower here with the smelly drags. Um, of course, we're not going to take the tower. We're just going to get close because the skelly drags can't do anything to save their lives. They can't splash. They can't deal damage. They can't stay alive. So, like, what are they What are they good for? They're just, like, they're glass cannons, but they're not cannons. So, it's, like, glass rubber band guns is a better name for them. They're just ass. I mean... The moment I get a, a card to replace the Skeleton Dragons, I will replace them. And then we're going to go with this here. Um, is he back to... I don't think he's back to... He is. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm going to Fireball Zap them. I was I was a little... I was a little off track of his cycle there. I didn't know he was back to the Musketeers. So I probably shouldn't have done that. But now I don't really have to worry about, like, three Musketeers in the back. So that's why I often like to go, like balloon or lava pushes to try and force out those uh the musketeers so that i can just what are you doing man this this isn't gonna work uh, we've got the brick wall of blonde white men um you know and, and look at that and look at this now we got a counter push here and all it takes is six elixir we're getting close we're getting close oh we might hit all of them and the bandit and the bandit oh we missed the bandit damn it but the zap is gonna hit all of them and I'm gonna need to throw some more fuel into the fire here. Oh, okay, guess not. I thought he was gonna try and defend. I felt like he could have defended, but instead he's just gonna stay subject to the big prick wall of British white men twice in one game. That's crazy. Skelly Drax, he's not gonna be able to respond. Go, 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 go. One hit, two hit, three hits. Yes, okay, GG's. Ooh, pretty good matchup right there. Three Musketeers is a pretty good matchup. As long as you're not, you know, over committing on offense as you can see there we wrapped him up pretty Ooh, a giant chest pretty nicely matthew matthew with 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 one t that's sad man what what happened to the other t you can't afford the other t like come on man that just looks like a, a sickly you know what i'm saying like matthew with one t it just looks like lame it just it just doesn't look cool i mean like put some respect on your name man if i had two t's in my name you know, sure as hell, I would rep those two T's, you know? Oh, God. Let me know if the comments of you would, too, but, like, um, let's go lava in the back here. I don't really, I don't really feel too scared right now. I mean, he's got to come to me. Uh, this, uh, this baby dragon, what the heck is he doing? This is a weird play. Now we're going to get double the value out of our drags here, which is very nice. So the Inferno Dragon, we're ready to just fireball it. Um, so yeah, I'm ready to fireball the Inferno Dragon. I'm gonna wait because he has freeze, of course. Where is the I drag? Oh, maybe he's gonna wait. E drag? What in tarnation is that doing there? Why do you baby drag E drag? Pekka? Nah, bro. I don't know what they. I feel like. I feel like yeah, this is the old meta deck. I feel like, but like, look, why do you have the? Why do you have the? Baby drag and the E drag. I feel like you're supposed to have the high drag, aren't you? Am I just tripping? I don't know, man. I don't know, man. But this is this is gonna be perfectly fine because we're wrapping up this Pekka. I'm not worried about a lumber loon push right now. What are you doing? Why would you do that? Okay, I'm kind of worried about it. All right, because this guy is so unpredictable that it's 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 actually more dangerous. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes the unpredictable people are the 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 most 
you know, hard to face, I guess, is the word I was looking for there. We're going to take this tower pretty easily here, but Trae Young from three. Yeah, but you know what I'm saying? We're going to fireball here just so I can make sure we're not taking any excess damage. Why would you freeze that? I'm going to zap here just to make sure we take no damage. Okay, good stuff there. Yeah, but you know, it's just like, like when I know what he's going to do and I know his deck, it's like easier to play against him, if you know what I'm saying. Because like, you, you've got like completely unpredictable people who don't know what they're doing and have no strategy. They're harder to face because like, if I know somebody's going to like Mother Witch at the bridge for my tombstone, I can predict their prediction. And so, you know, ultimately it makes the prediction. The, un the unpredictable people more predictable the, the predictable unpredictable predictability goes up if you know what I'm I'm trying to say here and I failed to pull the balloon and now we're gonna have to play three extra minutes of this wonderful game against this stupid idiot Matthew with one T this is just sad because now now I mean this game is over I mean I'm gonna I'm gonna beat this guy just because he has no way to break through my Phoenix and my skelly drags and 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 there's just you know we're gonna play two minutes we're gonna play two minutes of extra game time so I'm gonna have to have some some nice commentary keep you guys engaged because this is literally just the same thing rinse and repeat and I I missed the balloon there um kind of a missed play but like the ultimate thing is I have to hit the e drag I I, I want the e drag out of here um I can kill a balloon easier than I could kill an e drag on the his side of the arena you know so hitting the e-drag is the most important there the balloon was just like the cherry on top and you know the freeze coming in here so we'll just reset i mean it, it, it's just boring it's just really boring just to play this matchup over and over well you know we're doing the same thing over and over again he goes lumber loon i defend it i go lava he defends it he goes lumber loon i defend it you know until the end of the game where i win because i'm better than him and he's doing the same thing over and over and over. Isn't that the definition of insanity? I feel like it is. It's it's like doing the same thing over and over and expecting different results. He's not going to get the different results because, I mean, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Okay? I don't know what's going to change it. You know? And boom! Maybe a loon hit. Lovely, 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 lovely. We'll zap it because as low as we can get the E-Dragon, uh, that's the goal here. We're going to fireball, take out that E-Dragon, take out that Lumberjack pretty much. And then the balloon is, dude. Lumber balloon is so much easier now, with the uh, with the, the rage nerf, the rage a quote unquote rework, which is actually a nerf, um, because you know the balloon isn't raged for as long, and usually it won't even be in the rate the same radius as the as the rage. So it's honestly just really good. And and finally we wrap it up finally against Matthew with one T. But I mean, it was just that was just by the book defense. Don't go lava. Go lava. Okay, hold on. Darun coming in here. Yeah, I, like I was saying last match, ooh, the important thing is to not go lava in the back versus those types of matchups. Is to go defensive, like the Skelly Drags and the Phoenix, and then to go lava in front of your defensive units. Now, I like to preserve my, my beautiful, beautiful phoenix here my beautiful amazing elegant majestic bird so i don't want to play it until i know what he's doing because i mean the archers kind of signify one deck and one deck only and the knight will solidify that this is going to be expo 3.0 oh my goodness okay well um i'm gonna wait for him to place the place the uh whatchamacallit down the xbox uh we're gonna wait for it because do not go lava until he puts it down. Because if he puts it down the same lane as you, you are screwed. You are done. Okay, there we go. Opposite lane. You want to try and tower trade here. And I can usually do it. But sometimes it's going to be tricky. It's going to be very tricky. Um, so I'm going to try and just go balloon behind and fireball the archers. That's the goal here. Uh, yeah, we're just going to go balloon and then fireball the archers. <clears throat> Hopefully that gets the job done. I don't know what that was. Ooh, okay. Okay, what was that? Okay, that was weird. Even if he hit that, I was just gonna skelly drag. So like, this guy played it really weird and he's gonna get uh, a lot of damage, but I'm gonna follow up with the bird here as well. Cause he's lowish on elixir. Uh, the goal the goal was to, um, to take the tower, of course, but like, 
to get his fireball out so then I could go skelly drags. But this guy just like straight up fireballed the balloon, which I guess was interesting. Yeah, it just doesn't make much sense to me why would you why would he do that? I mean, whatever. Uh, we just gotta focus on taking this tower. This is gonna be a little tricky. Um I might have to go like yeah, we're gonna go high lava. I'm gonna try and force out his fireball with my drags. Hold on, wait, we're gonna go balloon on this Tesla real quick, and then he fireballs it again? Okay, we're gonna go fireball here, and then we'll go with the drags, because he has no fireball in his hand. That's a really weird play, like, why do you, why, I've never seen an, a 3.0 player fireball the loon like that. You usually always save it for the drags, but this guy, this guy apparently wants to save it for the balloon, and here we are going to have to get a last second balloon through and we should be able to zap these archers and kill them after the pups are handling them and let's see what he's gonna do here I don't think he's back to another building the fireball isn't gonna help him the drags are coming in but the balloon will get there in time so that, this is fine um, now finally with how we've taken the tower down now that we've taken the tower down excuse me I was stuttering a little bit there we are going to play a caution card right here just to make sure that before we go lava he goes uh or we go phoenix before we go lava just to make sure we are wrapping up his expo and here a really interesting knight in the pocket i don't know what he did there um i was expecting him to fireball the barbs not go knight in the pocket but i mean whatever dude uh we'll just go lava over here uh i'm ready i'm ready baby um he's got to play total defense right here so i don't really have to worry about him going opposite lane um, so we're gonna drag take out these archers to make sure they can't like back up an expo later on and now we're gonna go fireball real quick get those archers out of there we should be able to get a balloon hit we're gonna fireball or no sorry barbarians for his fireball Riley what okay whatever um yeah we're getting a ton of damage from these barbs right here and look at this barb look at this barb he's doing so much damage that's gonna be GG's dude freaking let's go baby that was a good ass matchup right there um yeah Squiggly, squiggly lines, paragraph in his name. Okay, that's a little too far. You all know how I feel about Asian names, all right? And don't get me started on whether this is Japanese, Chinese, Taiwanese, Egyptianese. I don't even, I don't, I don't know, man. I, I can't, I don't watch anime. I'm not a weeb, okay? If you know one thing about me, it's that I'm not a weeb. I'm not a weeb. I don't, I don't, I don't swing that way. I don't. You know, I don't watch, an I, I'm not going to hate on anime watchers, you know, because, because like, there's some anime, you, okay, here's a hot take, or maybe not a hot take, here's my take, there are people out there that make anime look bad, because of how they, how they live their lives, how they, like, associate themselves, like, you know what I'm talking about, like, like, anime in and of itself isn't, like, this, that's not the bad part, it's the people who watch the anime, that's the bad part. And we're not going to fireball this mother witch because he can, I, I can just uh, take it out with the, yeah, we're going to barbarians here because I could just take the mother witch out with the, uh, uh, the lava pups. I don't even have to play anything, but here, now we go zappies. I'll just take it out just to better be safe than sorry, you know. I usually always fireball the mother witch, but uh, what's important in these matchups is that uh, you can't fireball the card unless it's targeting your balloon and he quits he quits he quits what is he doing it dude he already quit okay we're just gonna take his tower then but like i was saying let's say you you have that mother witch shooting at you don't fireball the mother witch don't fireball it just yet wait until the uh, zappies show up and are targeting your loon and then fireball them don't fireball the zappies as soon as you see them either vice versa uh you're gonna want to fireball uh the mother witch usually but sometimes if you need that loon co connection you need to wait till he fire uh, he puts down the unit that uh is targeting your loon if you understand what i'm saying so he rage quit he rage quit let's go with a midi here um i'm i'm feeling really good i'm feeling really good i mean it's just textbook by the book defense offense everything's going well here um last matchup was great we made the guy rage quit hope we can do it again that would be dope um but yeah i mean i've been playing pretty good i've been playing pretty good i feel like i haven't been like very clear with my explanations it's been kind of weird like this video i'm i'm trying to like explain more but like i can't really I can't really do it that well. I don't know what I'm doing. If if it's clear to you guys, then then please let me know. But like I've been I've been 
weird this video like i don't know it's just kind of kind of weird so next video would be better but like it's just kind of strange i don't know how to explain it but anyways he went poison here so i mean w we're just gonna fireball the ice whiz and then we're gonna go scully drags after he poisons because he some for some reason he poisoned and that's just a horrible play by him now that's what i want to try and do i mean that's always my plan however it doesn't usually go that way uh don't go with your loons against these control decks you want to go with like the uh the, the phoenix usually so i you see how i went lava phoenix and then fireball the zeiss whiz and then after that okay the barbarians the barbarian this is why i bought the barbarians because the mighty miner ain't doing this barbarians are going to full counter the valkyrie and the graveyard look at this look at this ladies and gentlemen we took like 300 damage dude and now we're gonna balloon over here because he has no elixir and even if he uh even if he tombstones it's not gonna be enough and he misses the tombstone he would have had the tombstone and nato so we would have got out his nato and then i could have gone with the lava push this is just beautiful now we're just gonna phoenix here because i don't want to worry about this look at this dude look at this he gave up again he gave up again dude two straight games we made the guys give up bruh we made him give up dude this is this that no that's crazy that is absolutely insane like and subscribe the video please ladies and gentlemen we made two people back to back rage quit that's that's insane this is insane look, look guys if you enjoyed this video please let me know what i can do better in the next one and also just a quick thing uh if you guys see my YouTube shorts, please like and watch the whole thing and leave a comment because that's what blows them up and YouTube shorts are really good for my channel. So anyways, good night or good evening. Bye.